The Secretary General of the United Nations and His Excellency Prime Minister of Italy deserve our special commendation for this very proactive initiative to foster a community response to transform food systems and to mobilize the public and private investments that are required. Let me say right away that the case for transformative food systems is obvious to us in Africa, especially if we consider that nearly 20% of African people experienced hunger in 2019. And transformative food systems are also essential to feed and nourish growing populations in an environmentally sustainable manner. When, as in uh, our country, for example, and several others, population growth exceeds growth in national income, food supply would not meet the needs of people, especially when the distribution systems are also inequitable. Also, uh, post-harvest losses in, in Africa, and of course, uh, uh, Nigeria being a, a good example of that, are more than 20% of production for several food groups. And this is due mainly to poor storage, poor rural infrastructure, non-automation of food processing, amongst other things. And also in this context, uh, it's important to emphasize that we must transform food systems to ensure environmentally sustainable production practices. Some agricultural practices have contributed to soil degradation and erosion, and this has, of, of course, affected production. The situation in many African countries is given increased urgency with the impact of COVID-19, uh, which has led to growing levels of acute food insecurity. This is of great concern to all of us, uh, especially if we recall that even prior to the pandemic, the prevalence of severe food insecurity was as high as 22%. So it's in this context that the Nigerian government committed to addressing the drivers of food insecurity, such as food inflation, changing consumption patterns, and climate change, so climate change amongst other things. At the same time, and as an outcome of about 40 different food systems dialogues, in which up to 5,000 people participated, Nigeria is prioritizing investments in specific innovations and technologies to scale up and transform food systems. These actions complement existing development plans and sectoral strategies, such as our Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, at the National Policy on Food and Nutrition, and also our National Policy on Food Safety. Similarly, a specific aim of our recently launched National Poverty Reduction and Growth Strategy is to address hunger, malnutrition, and poverty as part of our target of lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty within a decade. At the heart of Nigeria's post-COVID-19 uh, response is our Economic Sustainability Plan. And this plan has a major component, which is the Agriculture for Food and Jobs Program where we seek to leverage suitable technologies to build a resilient food system for, for Nigeria. Already over 6 million farmers have been registered and geotagged to their farmlands, and they are being partnered with private investors who will supply their inputs and guarantee offtake of their produce. Any produce that is left over will be bought by government for the Strategic Grains Reserve and also for use in our homegrown school feeding program. Our nutrition policy addresses the issues of sustainable and nutrition-sensitive food systems, and the country has prioritized key nutrition actions that we think will be impactful, cost-effective, scalable, and, and, and sustainable. As I close, I should explain that an integral part of our food systems transformation strategy is to create an enabling and supportive environment to implement these policies in a participatory manner involving farmers, investors, and state governments. We accordingly expect to see significant improvements in crop yields, in affordable and healthy diets, and reductions in poverty and inequality soon. As we work towards the Sustainable Development Goals, we will strive to foster a global food system uh, that works for all. Thank you all very much. Thank you.